Hello everyone. Back in 2015, I worked on a small project to use an Arduino Uno to generate some interesting VGA signals to display on a monitor. This is some of the old footage filmed directly off the monitor. Now that I finally have a video capture device, I decided to resurrect this old project and get some higher quality video of it. And while I'm at it, I'll dive into a few more details about how this effect is achieved. The old breadboard I used was still in one of my electronics toolboxes. A few parts are missing and the Arduino is no longer connected. Before we get into addressing that, let's take a look at how the circuit manages to generate a picture on the monitor. The monitor draws the picture line by line, starting in the top left. Back in the day, that was done by an electron beam inside the monitor's tube. After reaching the end of the first line, the beam scans back to the beginning of the second line. This is called the horizontal retrace. This process repeats for each line in a frame. At the end of the frame, the beam moves back from the bottom right to the top left to start drawing a new frame. This is called the vertical retrace. Let's take a look at what this means for generating a VGA signal. After the first line is drawn by outputting red, green and blue voltage levels, we are entering the blanking area, highlighted in blue here. During the blanking interval, we need to generate a horizontal synchronization pulse. The monitor uses this pulse to properly time moving the electron beam back to the next line. This works similarly for the second line. Anytime we are in the dark blue area to the right, we generate a horizontal sync pulse. At the end of the frame, we're entering the vertical blanking area. As far as our signal is concerned, we continue to draw lines. However, these need to be empty lines, that means black color with zero voltage levels. When we enter the dark blue area at the bottom, we generate a vertical sync pulse. The monitor uses it to properly time retracing to the beginning of the screen. To generate horizontal raster bars, all we need to do is to send a different color to the monitor in the area where the bar should appear. No color must be output in the blanking area, however. Vertical raster bars work a bit differently. We use a chunk of memory from the Arduino to hold color information for one full line of pixels. This color information is then sequentially output on the Arduino's GPIO pins as the monitor scans the line. As an example, let's add different color for three pixels. We reuse this chunk of memory as color information for every line in the frame. So if we don't do anything else, the same three colored pixels get drawn on every line, resulting in a vertical bar. The wavy effect is accomplished by updating the memory during the horizontal retrace period. Let's say we update the memory by changing the color of three different pixels after the end of the first line before the second one. That would result in a picture like this. And now we can do the same on the third line. And fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh, or for the rest of the frame. To get motion, we can change what pixels we color when we start drawing the next frame. Now that we have the background covered, let's turn back to the hardware. This is how the breadboard looks after replacing the missing parts and wiring up the Arduino Uno. And now that that's done, here's the video captured directly from the circuit. I left it in the uh, 4 to 3 aspect ratio, which is the correct format for the video mode used. Thank you for watching and please like or subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.